Today we're going to be hunting AI security application vulnerabilities using MindGuard. We're going to test a deliberately vulnerable example application that Portswigger have made available in their labs, and this is the one with excessive agency. We'll see the app looks a bit like this. There's a chat UI that talks to a large language model, which has access to a tool which queries the database, and this app has all of these vulnerabilities. There's prompt injection, which allows us to provide instructions that manipulate the AI. Um, we'll see how excessive agency uh, results in a leak of personal data. Uh, additionally, the system prompt can leak, and that actually discloses the other vulnerabilities here. And then the main vulnerabilities are improper output handling. There's no restrictions of what SQL can be run. And excessive agency, uh, the app shouldn't even have permissions to delete users, but it's quite happy to do so. So let's get started. Uh, we're using MindGuard's plugin for Burp Suite to test the vulnerable application. Firstly, we'll open up the lab with Burp Suite's proxy attached so we can run some experiments. This is the vulnerable lab app. You see we haven't solved it yet, and I'm going to go ahead and open the live chat. Um, this is likely to have an LLM powering it. And I send it a message I can easily find later, and I'm going to go look for that message captured in Burp Suite, and then send it to the Burp Intruder tool to allow me to use it as a template to simulate a range of attacks. Now once it's in Burp Intruder, I can turn that bananas message I sent earlier into a variable placeholder for a range of tests. I'm going to restrict the output matching to just the responses from the AI. Now I'll tell Burp Intruder to generate attacks for this template using MindGuard, and quickly show you the settings for MindGuard, uh, the most interesting here being the dataset. I've got a short text file with a few relevant prompts for the application we're testing. MindGuard will run a range of attack techniques, each of which will use each of these prompts as its goal, so each of these prompts becomes dozens of prompts engineered to be the most likely to bypass any defences in play. So in a scenario when I didn't know much about the app, I'd likely run MindGuard with a stock dataset first, and then start refining my dataset with the results of my reconnaissance. So the test results start appearing in the MindGuard platform as they go. Um, and we're starting here with some basic checks for general safety, and we can see the chatbot has demonstrably helped generate code that could be used in malware. This may not be a behavior we want in our customer service bot. And these uh, findings, we can see them as they come in Burp Suite and, of course, in MindGuard. Skipping ahead to some more interesting results, we can now see MindGuard has extracted the system prompt that's in use by the chatbot. These standing instructions can often be useful for honing further attacks, as we'll see now that we drill in. It has in fact shown the presence of the arbitrary SQL injection risk that's at the heart of this lab. And now the attacks have progressed. We can see we've managed to extract some sensitive data here with Carlos's user and email, um, and the lab has indeed been solved uh, with the goal of deleting Carlos's user having been achieved. So thanks Portswigger for making a range of interesting AI security labs available for learning. Um, and if you're curious how adding AI to your apps may have introduced vulnerabilities, then you can download and try the tools that I showed in this video free from MindGuard.